بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Good morning everybody our lesson today a uh, lesson 3 on workbook please open your workbook on page number 48 what's the title of the the article we are going to read today hands up what's the title yes kareem broadcasting Broadcasting is the title for unit seven. What's the title for of the article you are going to read in lesson uh, lesson three? Amr uh, Latvi. The power of the media. The power of the media. Yes. Some people say the media makes the invisible visible and the far near. So the power of the media. Uh, it has. some advantages and disadvantages the media has a great impact on society can you mention the positive effects of the media what are the advantages what are, are the positive effects the good effects of the media let's listen to you and then we uh, we are going to discuss the advantages later hmm. what are the advantages yes radwan Media can spread us information. Yes, it can spread information. Good. Hamid Ahmed Ramadan. Muhammad Jalal. Yes, Muhammad. Hamid Ahmed Ramadan. What do you want to say? Media can. Says Aul. Media can. Okay. Muhammad Jalal. Okay. Yes. Yeah, media comes to people everywhere. Good. Hamid Ahmed Ramadan. Helps from the public opinion and develops imagination. Thank you, Muhammad Arabawi. Media gives us uh, the news. Help us to know the news. Thank you, Nashar. It. Uh... It helps us to uh, to uh, give the uh, the new news uh, of the world. Of the Thank world. you, Zayat. Yes, Zayat. Uh, media helps us to communicate with the others easily. Good. So you are talking about social media here. Okay. Thank you, Abdurrahman. So let's listen here and read uh, the uh, positive effects or the advantages of the media. The media helps in getting awareness about the world, so you can uh, you can uh, know what is happening around the world. It helps in bringing the world together. Uh, some people say that uh, the media or the internet makes the world as a small village. It's a cheap way of communication, so you can get, uh, you can uh, keep in touch with your friends in a cheap way. So it doesn't cost a lot of money. People know what is wrong and right. It helps in the research and analysis. So uh, the media can help you in education or in scientific research. It can entertain people. People can enjoy their uh, free time by watching videos, uh, programs, etc. And the advertisement has been made very easy, so it's very easy to advertise about your products or your, uh, about what you are going to uh, sell uh, through the media, through the TV or the newspaper, the magazines, uh, TV, uh, radio, etc. Now let's move to the second point here: the negative effects. What are the negative effects of the media? What are the disadvantages of the media? Omar Lutfi. Uh, that uh, it uh, media is like a weapon that we can um, uh, destruction uh, uh, the new generation. That can destroy. Yes. Uh, destroy, it's, uh, it looks like yeah, a weapon that can destroy our relationship. Okay. Good. Abdurrahman Khattab. Uh, people can share wrong information. Yes, they can share wrong information or ba bad news. Good. Hamid Ahmed Taha. Uh, 
Uh, it can encourage negative thinking. Very good, Muhammad. Uh, Radwan, Ahmed Adil. Okay, thank you. Raise your uh, lower hand, please, Abdurrahman. Ahmed, yes, save the dean. It can waste uh, my time. Good, it can waste your time. Good. Nashar. It can make people think, uh, act a negative, a negatively. In a negatively or a negative way. Excellent. So let's say and read the negative effects of the media. So potential harmful effects. So it has harmful effects or disadvantages. Social media is influencing people to stay in and stay online versus going out and being social and doing anything physical. So uh, Abdurrahman and many young students uh, keep, keep on online and staying at home they don't like going out and uh, being uh, sociable with others. Uh, the media can teach uh, young people more aggressive behavior. It can teach them more aggressive thoughts. It can teach them more angry feelings, so they can acquire more angry feelings. Uh, they, they can show less empathy. They don't uh, uh, take part in sociable uh, activities or sociable occasions. Fewer helping behaviors. So they are not ready to help others who are, who are uh, needy. Uh, it can increase, it can increase uh, their fears uh, of uh, things which are not uh, real. So these are the negative effects. Now, before reading the article, let's learn the new words and the new vocabulary. Remote. 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 Remote is an adjective. Remote. Far away. Distant. Remote. He comes to school late as he lives in a remote area. He lives in a remote place. A remote. Innumerable. 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 Innumerable is an adjective. You can see here there are too many uh, mobile applications or too many applications. Too many be to be counted. Innumerable. Too many to be counted. Innumerable. His innumerable successes brought him big fame. Deterrent. 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 Stop. Deterrent is a noun. Deterrent. A thing that discourages or is intended to discourage someone from doing something. So deterrent means uh, uh, something to, that can stop you to do a uh, bad thing. Deterrent. Fines. Al-gharamat. Should be large enough to be an effective deterrent against his beating. The government should impose large fines to stop people from uh, slow or sorry speeding or speeding their cars or uh, moving fast. So it's a deterrent. Adversely. 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 Adversely is an adverb. It ends with L-Y. So it can modify the verb adversely, means harmfully, harmfully, adversely, means harmfully. Look at the earthquake here in the pictures. Many companies in Japan have been adversely affected by the earthquake. Many companies in China have been adversely affected by COVID-19. Harmfully, adversely. Glorify. 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 Glorify is a verb. Glorify is a verb to describe or represent as admirable. 
glorify. You glorify someone, you glorify something. Glorify. They named a school after him in order to glorify his name. The name Al Mubarakiya school was named after Mubarak al Kabir in order to glorify his name. Glorify. To make something as admirable. Glorify. Never quit. Dedication. 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 Dedication is a noun. The verb dedicate. Dedication. The quality of being dedicated. Dedicating, dedicated is an adjective, means someone who is hard working, committed to a task or purpose. Dedication. We are very grateful. We are very thankful to your dedication, to your work. Thank you so much. You are uh, very, we are very thankful, grateful to your commitment or dedication to your work. You are a very hard working person. Now, let's have a look at the first exercise. Answer the following questions here before reading. Before reading the message. The, and then read the article about the power of the media. A, what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of the media? We are going to summarize, not, not false sense. We are going to write just two or three points in uh, notes. Now, second exercise, give a real example that affirms the freedom of the press in Kuwait. The freedom of press, Harid Sahafa, that uh, affirms you. Give a real example. Give me hay. A real example that affirms the freedom of the press in Kuwait. The first one, what are the advantages? What are the disadvantages of the media? Let's see who can answer. Khaled Walid. Yes, teacher. Uh, one, of, uh, one of the advantages of the media is that it's, it's able to get information to the public. Good. Yes, thank you. Hamad Ahmad Taha. Uh, develops the imagination. Develops imagination. It uh, develops imagination. Yes. Uh, as TV. Yes. Amr Hazim. Uh, getting the news. Yes. It's one of the advantages. Hamad Tamir. Uh, they uh, can form uh, and alter opinions. Older opinions, yes. Is this uh, advantages or disadvantages? Dis disadvantages. Disadvantages. Okay, thank you. So let's write here uh, uh, some notes of the advantages and disadvantages. The advantages here, getting news, so you can get news easily. Uh, it can express uh, people's opinions. So the advantages, getting news and expressing opinions. The disadvantages, uh, one of your friends said it wastes your time. So wasting time. It uh, affecting social life. It can affect social life, affecting social life. So who can read the answer? Let's see. Uh, Omar Najm. Yes, Omar. What are the advantages, Omar? Yes, read the advantages, please. Uh, getting news, expressing options. Expressing opinions. Opinions, Omar. Thank uh, you. Opinions. Thank you. Uh, Jamal Majid Shiha. What are the disadvantages, Jamal Shiha? Jamal Shiha? Yes. What are the disadvantages of the media? Amin Jamal, yes, Amin Jamal. The advantage of the media. Wasting time affecting social life. Okay, thank you, Amin. Yes. So, in the second exercise, letter B. Give a real example that affirms or that makes sure that the freedom of press in Kuwait are available or is available. Dinimis. 
كان حي يوضح حرية الصحافة في الكويت ياسر نشار Again, teacher, السؤال بس. Exercise B, please. In front of you, give a real example that affirms the freedom of the press in Kuwait. حرية الرأي في الإعلام في الكويت. Yes. Thank you. حرية الصحافة. Think, أشرف. Yes, نشار. عمرو أشرف. ما ما عنا السؤال بس بس ما. Please, please pay attention to me, عمر. Please pay attention to me and lower your hand. Lower your hand, please. Okay. Sujood Samah. Sujood Samah. You can share your uh, your opinion in any time, and uh, how matters okay. it is uh, difficult. Okay. Next. Salah. Ahmed Samir Salah. Ahmed Samir. Yes. Journalists uh, admit they enjoy the right uh, associated with with the uh, press uh, freedom. Yes, very good. I'm going to say it again. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay. The first example. Imagine the question, Ahmed. I'm going to ask you. Give a real example that affirms the freedom of press in Kuwait. Let's go. For example, hey. يؤكد على حرية الصحافة برس الصحافة in Kuwait the objections against many wrong behaviors of famous people in Kuwait يعني الاعتراضات على سلوكات سلوكيات خاطئة من المشاهير في Kuwait يعني مثلا ممثل أو شخصية مشهورة عملت حاجة غلط في في مكان عام فتلاقي صحافة كلها بتهاجمه the objections against many wrong behaviors of famous people in Kuwait الإجابة الثانية here in 2007 Kuwait was ranked second in the Middle East in the Freedom of Press Index يعني الكويت في 2007 الكويت صنفت المركز الثاني في الشرق الأو الشرق الأوسط في حر في قائمة حرية الصحافة يعني حصلت الكويت على المركز الثاني في الشرق الأوسط في قائمة حرية الصحافة in 2007 Kuwait was ranked second in the Middle East in the Freedom of Press Index. This sentence was written at the end of the article you are going to read. Now, please have a look at the article. Here, what's the title of the article? Hands up. What's the title? Huh? Muhammad Tamir? The Power of the Media. The Power of the Media. Very good. Now, how many paragraphs are there in the article? How many paragraphs? Let's count. How many paragraphs? Uh, Abdul Rahman Ziyad, how many paragraphs? About five paragraphs. Five or four? Five or four? Let's see here. The first one here, introduction, second paragraph, third paragraph, and the fourth paragraph. So there are four paragraphs, not five, okay? How many lines are there? Yes, how many lines? Subhi. 55. Uh, 55. Very good. So you have to pay attention here to the title, to the uh, uh, a number of paragraphs, and how many lines. Okay. Now, I'll give you five minutes. Five minutes. You are going to read the article, and you are going to underline the advantages and the disadvantages of the media. Please read silently and underline the advantages and disadvantages of the media. Five minutes.
Now, you are going to read these statements in exercise two. Are these statements true or false? And justify your answer. You have to correct the sentence. You have to uh, give me the reason. A, who would like to read? Amr Hazim. Yes, A. People, um, people can uh, not uh, control the power of, of the media and uh, and it's uh, it's effect effects open their lives upon their lives is that true or false uh false false can you correct it okay give me the reason why do you think it's uh, false hello sir Uh, people you, can, uh, be, uh, that. Yes, okay, I'm listening. Be, people can decide in what ways they uh, want to be in, uh, in, involved in it. Uh, people can decide, people can decide in what ways they want to be involved in. Thank you, Amr. Second sentence. Ahmed Yasser. B. The media is always uh, a reliable uh, source uh, for forming uh, public opinion. Uh, a reliable source. Yes. Is that true or false? False. Correct it. The media is the media is reliable, uh, but uh, cannot be always reliable. Yes. Not always. Yes. So, media cannot always be reliable. Thank you. Karim Wa'el. See, the media can be a positive influence upon social causes. True. Upon social causes. That's true. Here, uh, social causes or social problems like literacy, uh, health management, AIDS, awareness, etc. So, they can solve uh, some, some problems. Okay, thank you. Ibrahim uh, Omar. D. Yes, Ibrahim. D. Uh, the media. Yes. The media is a reliable source. Forks people to think and uh, and act, act in a way with which uh, opposes uh, oppose oppose uh, their start at the true. That's true. Okay, so the media can uh, can alter their opinions. Thank you. Let's see another one. Yes, Sevidin. E. Quit has given the press uh, absolute absolute freedom, which makes it media absolutely a uh, freedom which makes its media very transpo uh, transport. Transparent. Transparent. Uh, yes. Is false. it false? false? False. Can you correct it? Yes. Kuwait has given the press freedom uh, within the limits of the law. Yes, within the limits of the law. Very good. So the uh, Kuwait doesn't give absolute freedom. It uh, gives them freedom, but within the limits of law. Thank you. Zayat, last one, F. Uh, Kuwait was uh, ranked second in the world in the freedom of press and uh, index. And 
false Kuwait was ranked second in the Middle East in the Freedom on the Press Index. index. Yes, and not in, not in the world, but in the Middle East. Very good. So Kuwait was ranked second in the Middle East. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now let's move to vocabulary exercise here. Vocabulary exercise. We are going to, uh, to make uh, word families. Here, you've got here some verbs. You are going to change them into nouns. You've got some nouns. You are going to change them into verbs. Complete these lists with nouns or verbs from the article. From the article, you can get the answer from the article. Hazim, affect. What is the noun? Uh, noun effect. E. Effect. Very good. Yes, thank you. Let's see. Ahmad Sayyid, inform. Ahmad Sayyid, what's the noun? Information. Ahmad, yes. Information. Very good. Yes, good. Thank you. El Ardi, yes. Achieve. Achieve is a verb. What's the noun? Achievement. Achievement. Very good. Next, Ahmed Muhammad Abu Hamid. Yes. A promotion is a noun. What is the verb? A promote. Promote. Very good. Sujood. Encouragement is a noun. What is the verb? Encourage. Encourage. Very good. Muhammad Jalal, you've got regulate is a verb. What's the noun? The noun uh, regulation. Very good. Mahanna, advertisement or advertisement is a, a noun. What is the verb? Advertisement. Ad again, please. Advertisement. Yes. What's the verb? What's the verb? Advert. Advertise. Again, Muhammad. Muhammad, say it again. Advert Advertise. Advertise. Yes. So let's check the answer here. Effect, affect. Information, inform. Achievement, achieve. Promotion, promote. Encouragement, Encourage. Regulation. Regulate. Advertisement. Advertise. Advertise. Okay. Now, you've got here a chart. This chart here, you are going to complete it. You are going to write the good effects of the media on people's lives and the bad effects of the media on people's lives. You are going to write the good and the bad effects mentioned in the article. And then add some of your own. I'll give you two minutes to think and get the good effects and the bad effects, the advantages and disadvantages of the media uh, from the article. And you are going to write just notes. You are not going to write full sentences here in the uh, chart. Okay. Muhammad Tamir, what are the good effects? Uh, uh, information on the latest uh, events. Information can spread quickly. Yes. Amar Lutfi. Uh, uh, bad effect or good effect? As you like, as you like. I'm listening bad to you. Effect, uh, like uh, wasting time and. Uh... It can waste our time. Yes, wasting time. Good. Ahmed Yasser. Is that bad or good? As you like. Uh, media results and information, the last uh, events uh, reaching people. Even uh, the remote uh, con uh, country of uh, the country. Thank you. Corners Thank of you. the country. Yes, I mean Jamal. I have says how will bad effect? Yes. Giving false information. 
Okay. Ahmed Sayyid. Uh, so it's has good, uh, good effect. Uh, yes. Giving uh, for, uh, cal Calvin as at the Tabakh Abdurrahman yes. Good effect. Yes. Forming a public opinion. Yes. Thank you, Muhammad Arabawi. Uh, forming people's opinion. This is the right answer. All right. Thank you. So let's uh, summarize them here in this uh, chart. The good effects. Information on the latest events. Forming public opinion. Clarifying achievements. As a deterrent to corrupt practices. Promoting social causes like literacy and health management. The bad effects. Encouraging negative thinking patterns. Portraying ordinary events negatively. Advertising and glorifying certain issues. Giving false information. Broadcasting inappropriate content for different age groups. So this is a summary for the advantages and the disadvantages of the media. You know, it's very important. Uh, you can write an article, you can write a report about the good effects and the bad effects later uh, on. Okay, now, you know that uh, there are some keywords in the box here uh, today, we learned uh, them. Do you remember them? What are they? We remember them? Huh? Innumerable, deterrent, glorify. Huh? You've got here four words in the list. Now, you've got here definitions. Match these definitions with a word taken from the keyword box on page 48. What do they mean? More than can be counted. Give me a one word which has the same meaning. Abul Ala. Yes. More than can be counted. Uh, in, in, uh, yes. In innumerable. 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 Again, Amr. Innumerable. Thank you. Okay. Not easily reached far away or distant. Abdurrahman Muhammad Subhi. Remote. Remote, very good. Okay, to describe or represent something as admirable. Ahmed Sayyid. Glorify. Glorify. Again, Ahmed. Again, Ahmed. Glorify. 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 Good. Okay. In Nashar, a thing intended to be discouraged or to discourage others from doing something. Deterrent. 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 Let's check the answer here. So, innumerable means more than can be counted or too many to be counted. Not easily reached far away or distant. Remote. To describe or represent something as admirable, glorify, I think they intended to discourage others from doing something uh, deterrent. Okay? Now, let's move to the last question here, and it's very important. As you know, you know it's, uh, it's what? Uh, there is the title, Over to You, the, na the name of the book, Over to You. You have to uh, discuss and answer this question. Why do you think the media has to be as truthful as possible? How can this be achieved? So you've got two parts here, figures in. Why do you think, you have to mention the reason, why do you think the media has to be as truthful, as honest as possible? And how can this be achieved? This is the second part. Think, 
about this question. Yes, Muhammad Tamir. Uh, uh, why do you think the media has uh, to be as uh, trustful as possible? Uh, possible? How can uh, this uh, be archived? Ar answer? Yes. Uh, I I think this is beca uh, because the media uh, is reward uh, is warning for uh, information public opinion, and yes. we merely uh, depend on uh, it in getting the uh, news and the information. Yes, complete. excellent, Muhammad. Thank you, Muhammad Tamer. Muhammad Jalal. Yes, teacher. This can be achieved by putting fair, uh, fair rules in its work and uh, trying to be honest all the time. Excellent. So putting rules and uh, and the laws right. to be followed. Thank you. Abdurrahman Zayed. Abdurrahman Zayed. How can this be achieved? Or, uh, how can... I was, sir. Yes. Give me your opinion. Why do you think the media has to be as truthful as possible? How can this be achieved? Uh, this can be achieved by uh, uh, the government can uh, uh, raise awareness of the people to be truthful in the media. Very good. Thank you. So let's see here on a a model answer here i think this is because the media is responsible for forming public opinion and we mainly depend on it in getting news and information so this is the reason i think the media has to be as truthful as possible because the media is responsible for forming public opinion and we mainly depend on it in getting news and information. This can be achieved by putting fair rules in its work and trying to be honest all the time. This can be achieved by putting fair rules in its work and trying to be honest all the time. We can get another answer because it's the fourth pillar of democracy. Uh, the media is the fourth pillar of democracy and it has a huge impact on the society. So these are four reasons. The first reason, the media is responsible for forming public opinion. Second one, we mainly depend on it in getting in news and information. The third, it is the fourth pillar of democracy and the fourth, it has a, a huge impact on society. How can this be achieved? This can be achieved by putting fair rules in its work and trying to be honest all the time. It mustn't convey misleading messages. It mustn't convey misleading messages. I'm going to stop recording here.